The Gambling God is back on your Wednesday, December 18, 2019. Still with the Bell's palsy. We are on the prednisone. And so we are under the mask, just like they go under the hood in the NFL. No difference. The Phantom of the Opera is here to give you the picks for your Wednesday, December 18, 2019. Gambling God... Here we go. Your first game on the board, Charlotte at Cleveland. You tell me why Cleveland is minus two and a half. Something's not right here. Charlotte's been very good. They just came off a big home win the other day. Something ain't right. This is a trap. If you want to fall into the trap, take Charlotte plus two and a half. I cannot tell you to take Cleveland. I don't like Cleveland. I don't think that the team has anything to play for. They're a disaster. Tristan Thompson is fighting with the coach. They're going to trade Kevin Love. Youth movement, the whole thing. I like Charlotte to, to win the game outright. If I was putting money on this, I would say take Charlotte to win. This smells funny to me. Something ain't right. Make sure that you know all the players are in the lineup for Charlotte. Make sure Graham is playing. I know Washington is out. In any event, Cleveland stinks. You know, they've lost by 40-plus by points three times this year. For my money, I'd go Cleveland. So I'd go Charlotte here to win. But at a minimum, take them plus 2.5. If you could buy it up to 4.5, buy it up. Next, Toronto-Detroit. You have to figure Toronto wins this game. They are the better team. Of course, they're on the road. Anything can happen. Andre Drummond playing out of his mind. You have Luke from Duke. Kennard in the backcourt playing great. And Blake Griffin down low next to Drummond. I will take Toronto to win this game by Detroit up to five and a half if you want. And hope for the middle. Hope for the Toronto to win. Detroit to cover. Next, Chicago at Washington. I like Washington playing better. Isaiah Thomas came back last night. David Bertans looking great, of course. Bradley Beal doing his thing. Chicago, uh, you know, they, they have a formidable team too. With uh, Zach Levine scoring at, at a, a very high clip, uh, showing the promise that he showed us when he was in college. Uh, maybe Minnesota re regrets trading him. Uh, I like Washington to win this game. They're home. They're hot. And uh, like I said, with Thomas back, I see Washington taking this one. Take Washington to, to defeat Chicago, but it will be a close game. Uh, Miami, Philadelphia, something ain't right here. I like Miami. They're getting no respect from the bookies. They went into Dallas, got no respect. They were eight. They were plus eight there. I told you to take them. They won the game outright in overtime. At one point, they were up by 23. I see something similar here. I like Miami plus eight. Buy it up to plus 10. If you can get them on the money line, grab them on the money line. I like Miami to defeat Philadelphia or at a minimum to cover that spread. It seems like too many points to me. Next, New Orleans, Minnesota. Tricky. I like Minnesota to win. Uh, New Orleans has a lot of guys in and out of the lineup. They're starting some young guys. Jackson Hayes, of course, Drew Holiday at the point. I think Minnesota gets it done and wins this game. I don't have a feeling on the spread. Just take Minnesota to win. Not with the spread, just on the money line. If you want to parlay them, parlay them in Portland at 10 o'clock. Memphis at um, OKC. I like OKC. Chris Paul playing out of his mind. Maybe thinks he's going to get traded. The, the rumors are that he's not going to be traded. I like OKC to win this game. Yeah, you know, if, if there's any team I like out of them all, I like OKC. I think OKC wins this. I don't think this should be an issue. I don't think Memphis has the horses to go into OKC and win, especially not the way they're playing. I like OKC to win this game. Next. We have, uh, or this is Orlando. I can't even read my own writing. I can't see. Orlando is at Denver. Denver minus nine and a half. Orlando uh, comes off a, a tight one in Utah covering the spread. I like the over in this game. Take the over. Take Orlando plus 11 and a half if you can buy it up. But I do like Denver to win. But don't be surprised if they let Orlando win this game. Because everyone's going to say, ah, you know, they played last night in Utah. They didn't win. How are they going to turn around on short, on short rest and go into Denver and win? You watch Orlando win this game. Not because they're better. Not because of athletic ability. Because it's fixed. Okay? But I do like the value with Orlando money line, Orlando plus 9.5, and, and Orlando plus 11.5 if you can get it to buy it up. Next. Boston at Dallas, 
Strange one here. Dallas just went into Milwaukee and beat them, as predicted on Monday. I like Dallas to win this game. Boston is very good, of course. They're great on the road, well coached, a lot of good quality players. I think Dallas has more than enough to get it done. They showed that they did in Milwaukee. I think D Dallas keeps it rolling with or without Luka. Doesn't matter. Dallas defeats Boston tonight. Last but not least, Golden State Portland. You have to take Portland here. Of course, if it's fixed, Golden State will take it. But for my money, I like Portland to beat Golden State. I have no feelings on the spread or the total. To review, Charlotte defeats Cleveland. Toronto defeats Detroit. I think Detroit covers five and a half if you can get it. Washington wins outright over Chicago. Miami defeats Philadelphia. Minnesota defeats New Orleans. OKC defeats Memphis. Or Orlando covers against Denver. Dallas defeats Boston, and Portland defeats Golden State. Those are your picks. Gambling God, Wednesday, December 18, 2019. We are going to come back to you shortly with the NHL Gambling God tonight.